Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video on the 2022 Audi A1. Guys, we're ready. I've got in this morning, Chris is all set up. Well, not quite set up, but pulled the dozer around, ready to actually start the process of pulling that chassis leg where it needs to be. You got the measuring system half set up there, Chris. Yeah, a yeah. little bit to finish on that, and then we're going to crack straight on. The focus is right now to get that chassis leg straight so that we can get it swapped out and replaced, and then we'll move on to this one a little bit later. Let's crack straight on with so it. So as usual, guys, I've left Chris there to, to get on with it himself. And I've actually popped, I've driven down to Surrey to look at a possible barn find. Fingers crossed. I'm quite excited about it. I've seen some pictures and I think it's going to be great for the channel. Um, I've just driven all the way down here. And unfortunately, the guy did say, yeah, come this morning, but he's on call. He might get a call and I might have a little bit of waiting around. And... Sure as damn it, 15 minutes before I arrived, he's called me and said, Rob, I've got to go on a call and I could be up to a couple of hours, but I'm here now, I'm in Surrey. By the time I left here and drove all the way back to the yard, it'll be time to turn around and drive back again and then it could happen again. So there's always plenty to do, emails, editing, comment section, etc., etc. So what I'm going to do is just go and find myself a little calf, sit there until the guy gets back, catch up on all that sort of stuff. And then of course, I'll pick up once we get back to the yard. Well, Chris has certainly, certainly cracked on now. And I will be the first one to admit, he is the brains of this outfit. <laughs> I don't know about but that. But if there's one thing I'm going to say is, stick to being the brains, not the cameraman. Yeah. Guys, he tried his best to video that. What the hell happened there? Well, it's just all blurry. I well, know, and, and we just watched it all back. All you can we? see you is can Chris's see. back, so we do apologise. I actually, this is probably one of the most important bits that people really like, but thankfully you haven't touched no, this side. No, no. We do that This live. side is 90% is there now. New chassis leg is in there. I can't actually remember the name of the company that helped us out right last minute with that in Essex. Yeah. I'm going to put their link in there. It was 120 quid. I know we're not doing yeah. the numbers. No. And he come out, he went, hello, Rob, I watched the channel when I went. Yeah, it's good. All right, it makes that a bit cheaper. He went, we'll do it for 100 quid. Yeah, so, yeah. anyway, Chris has chopped that out and you've got that in, you've pulled it, you've got that new yeah, bit in there. That, that's, that's the inner piece. Yeah, or outer piece, whichever outer piece. way you want to call it. Right. That's uh, to go back on. But we have got, I'm practically at the stage now of setting the dozer back up again and pulling that. So... We live film some of Yeah, that. definitely. We time lapse it and live film it, shall we? No, we live film it. People but love watching them. We just legs. had we've just been having a coffee and we had yeah. a chat. And I think next time we're gonna put a camera up there. We're actually gonna buy some brackets because film overhead because obviously I didn't give it much thought, but no. I've blocked ninety percent of what I was doing. Mate, it is what it is, isn't way. it? We're not professionals. Well, you you ended up being out uh, I don't know if you've yeah, yeah. When we looked at a barn find, yeah. Yeah, so you which, was only going to be a couple of hours, weren't you? And it turned out a bit longer. Yeah, so. which obviously we're not going to spoil no, that video. No, no, of course. But we did buy it. Yeah. So last time Chris put these cable ties up, we had good success. Well, it was engine, wasn't it? Engine yeah. removal or then, refitting, I think. Then he put these two cable ties up, and it cost us 70 quid for a new it screen did. for your phone. It did, yeah. Didn't it? It fell down. Yeah. So. We're going to buy some clamps and try and improve a little bit, but let's yeah. not waffle on. We'll let Chris get set up and then we'll, um, we'll actually watch this leg come round. I think it'd be yeah. very, very good. Right, bumper bar bolted on this side, ready to go. Now we can see how far out that chassis leg is. 
We've already got it strapped up, got blocks on there, got the chains on it, it is ready to pull. And I know everybody really enjoys this bit. I'm gonna say it, and I remember saying it in the last video, an half hard show on a white car. It is, but part of the reason we've put this bar on is for reference, isn't it? Yeah. So, so that you can see it moving. So you're gonna focus on this bit, and then it's it should um, it should highlight it. Yeah, definitely. Across. Oh, mate, where's your mic on, Chris? It's on your apron, I think. Oh, it's on the apron. Yeah. Right. This is the exciting bit, seeing it all pull together. Ready? Yeah. You might want to stand back just a little bit. Oh, it's moving easy, Chris, that is. Bolt holes are coming over. I think what we're going to have to do is tighten the chain up though in a minute, Rob. Too much slop in the old There's dozer. Quite a lot of slop in the dozer, but I think you've already shown we've got a new one coming. Yeah, I have, so, yeah. Uh, is that it then? Should we let it off and then? It will, I think we've explained before, we need to over pull it and let it spring back. Yeah. It? So it ends up with no tension in it. But your bolt holes have just started to show. Yeah, so, so it's moving, isn't it? So we'll, um, I think what we'll do, we'll cut it and we'll take a bit of slack out of the chain and then we'll go again, yeah? Yeah, okay, What we've done there, guys, we've actually got a block of wood behind there, so we're covering up the chain. That is purely as a spreader to keep those apart and we've chucked the fire blanket over there. Just zoom in a little bit. Yeah. So you can see we're trying to get the holes inside these two holes here. Look at that, look at them holes lining up. But of course, what Chris just said, when he does let that go in a minute, it will go back. There's always a certain spring in it. Can I just show why you had the tension on there, what that spread has done, because you could see that it wasn't touching the chassis leg. But we... It's pretty self-explanatory, it, really, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Like... <clears throat> Certainly gone past a bit now, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna just give that a little bit more though. Oh, almost in line, mate. Getting nearer. Getting nearer. Sorry, I'm zoomed in a bit too far there. Yeah. If you see that square hole, what I've done this side is ground a bolt to fit in the square hole. Yeah. Now there is a certain degree of tolerance on these, as you know because you can see the size of there. Yeah. But best practice is to get... As close as you can to the yeah, middle. Yeah, and then you've got the maximum play if you need it. But theoretically, you shouldn't need any. No, that's right. It should be as good as factory then. But, I mean, you could, if you took that bolt out, theoretically, and loosened these, you could now make this bar fit that. Yeah, we don't want to do that, though. No, I'm just pointing yeah, out yeah. that you could. But ideal, we get that over. So that square lines up. That one's lined up. We've used the measuring, or I've used the measuring system to get this one accurate. So, theoretically, if that, that lines up, it's in the right place. Perfect. Yeah. All right, mate. Yeah, it's still going to need a bit, isn't it? Yeah. So like I say, I think I've said to you before, I've had to cut blocks of wood. Yes. Because we're pulling sideways, obviously them jaws grip that way. Yeah. You're never going to rip it through that well, unless you, you do something seriously wrong. But there, you can you can make that slip. So. Yeah. So I might have to chuck I'm some. Getting that, mate. Yeah, but I can don't have to use it. Did the jig off the floor there, mate. Yeah. You need, you need a pin in that, um, that 
Which claim? Right, okay, let's get that done. You're pretty much there with it, mate. What a long way past now, isn't it? Yeah. Mate, honestly, that looks perfect, but I'm just going to show the viewers what you're going on about. You can still see yeah. that little edge there, can't Square you? Hole. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're here, you might as well have it absolutely perfect. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's got a bit of twist in it, doesn't it? Slightly. If you have a look at the bottom. See that? In relation to those top holes. Yeah, ever so slight twist, yeah. So yeah. I think we might have a a bit of a rehash and do a pull with uh, the pulley bar bolted on the bottom. Yeah. And just give that chassis leg a little tweak that way. Apart from that. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. So all went well there and you're pretty confident you got that where you want it now, Chris. It's just nearly it's got a slight corkscrew in it. Um, slight twist. And what you've done is bolted on this plate that you've yeah. You've so drilled various energy, holes in, yeah. The energy's low down, so the theory is as that pulls that, that will rotate it slightly. I say, it's, it's a, where it is now, you could bolt that all together. Yeah. But it's just nice to get it bang on. Bang on. Yeah. yeah. So you, you've gone through that square hole at the front and the back there with well, a bolt. One's, that one's an elongated, a square at the top, yeah. an elongated, but again, they are just purely alignment holes. Yeah. So yeah, bolted through there because that's allowed me to get a twelve mil bolt rather than just the eight mil. Yeah. Because you could snap an eight mil off. Yeah. Um, so um, that's that's a tight fit both on my pulley bar and the hole it's gone through. There's no slop in it. People are going to say, where do I get one of these pulling bars? They won't find one with this many holes in it, mate, will they? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they might have a couple of holes extra. I don't know. I remember yeah. you using this on one of my cars and you had to drill another yeah, hole in it. I've got various... I can't remember what that was of. Just made up out of a bit of scrap. Yeah. That was for a, a different... So, yeah, there's, there's a... You can show it if you want. It's big, room. yeah, all the clamps, and yeah, I think yeah. I showed them in the so other video. I've welded various bolts to. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. You've got to do what you got to do, haven't you? That's right, mate, we'll let you get set up, and we're going to just get that to slightly twist back where it needs to be. Go ahead, mate. Yeah, see it twisting it. Fantastic. Again, we over pull it. There's quite a lot of spring in that, so well, we'll offer that bar. Yep, and see if that's uh, it feels yeah, yeah, it looks good, mate. Does that look on the you can't see the mm, no, slightly more yet, I reckon. Do you think um, only a slight actually? Yeah, I can see the bottom the bolt, bolt, yeah, bolt head, come on, yeah. You'll know when it's right, because I'll tell you what, I reckon that bolt head, I'm just going to show what nearly. I'm going to explain here, yeah, nearly. is probably, yeah. yeah, so, we're not far away, we're not far away at all, mate. Yeah, it's gone through. Yeah. yeah, it's gone through on the bottom one. Let's, um... yeah. yeah, you're on it, yeah. Right. Job's a good one, mate. Job is a good one, that's straight. I guess we were going to be bolting that bar on it now, aren't we, and showing that anyway. Um, yeah, I've got this out of hand to work on. Oh, yeah, of course you have, yeah. So I'll carry on with that. Yeah. Um, but I think probably I'll bolt this on. Whilst I'm wielding it, just keep it all in place. All, yeah. All, up, all right, mate. We'll let you uh, get everything undone. Well, I'll help you. Let's get it all undone. I started time lapse in there, guys. But I said to Chris, leave the bolts out. So, top bolt in. I think you would all agree that is bang on in the middle. 
bang on in the middle. Look at that. Absolutely, couldn't you get want, you couldn't get it any more perfect than that. Like Chris said, there's plenty of slop in that. He don't want no slop. He wants it how it come out well, of the that's factory. Your factory tolerance. Yeah. They, they make these with an amount of tolerance for the factory, so we're back with the factory tolerance. Yeah, original. Yeah, uh, and that's what these are used for in the factory and for measuring systems. Definitely. So, well, that's that's stiffened that up now. You've measured the height, Chris, that's bang on. You're going to actually stitch in that panel, yeah, put the side back yeah. in, and just crack on with it. We need, some, um, we need a bit of weld through primer on there first. Yeah. And um, Looks good, mate. Yeah, Looks really yeah. good. Well, well done. Right, just showing about that footage, isn't it? Yeah, but it, oh, that's why I've left it in there. You can see you've done it. So hopefully that time lapse has come out a little bit better from that angle. Um, but there you can see, got quite nice penetration on that weld there. And plug weld all those holes up. It's now a case of giving them a tickle off with a grinder. Show in there. There's one left there to weld. Hopefully you can see that that's bang on the original spot weld where I drilled it. So quite useful for alignment, although it did fit straight on there really. I don't know if I can get that from under there, whether that's going to show too well. Let's try it. Not cleaned it up yet, but nice tight joint there. You will have seen clamping every weld, squeezing it tight. So there's absolutely no joint, uh, no gap in that joint at all. For maximum strength that is. Right, let's get that ground up. And uh, I reckon Rob will be back by then. Well, Chris cracked on as usual while I was out there. He's just stopped for his lunch and uh, he's made a cracking job there of those welds, hasn't he? And that there, Chris, yep. actually looks really, really good. But I'm a bit more practice, you're going to be perfect at this. <laughs> All jokes aside, guys, as well, I'm just, I've just sat there and ate my lunch and watched this back. There was bits where we couldn't hear you. I don't know if your mic was too far away or not, but. Don't give me an hard time about it. We uh, genuinely did try our hardest and we've been wearing them all day, but a little bit, I, I suppose, 75% of the way there with that. Just got to carry on. I think you said there's one more weld to do up here. And then it's going to be prepping it all, I suppose. Getting it ready. Well, Let me come over near what, you. I think what we do is off, I've finished grinding that off. We've got to remove that engine mount because there's one weld behind it. I couldn't get too nicely. Yeah. We put the engine mount back on, and then I think we fit the front front panel and those two headlight panels. Yeah, landing panel type pieces, just in case we've got to tweak those flitches at all. Yeah, I think they'd both moved back with the chassis legs, but you never know. You never know, do you? So we we get those done, and then it can be pulled back apart for prep and paint. Yeah, all right then, mate. All right. Well, I'll let you finish the welding, and then I'll come yeah. in and help you fit it all up. Yeah, perfect. check that out I've had nothing to do with this it has all been Chris all I've done is pulled the camera out and filmed bits of it 
and he's had that measuring system set up again and that is absolutely bang on the headlight is purely for effect i'll just said to chris we've got it here can i throw it in now quite a lot of you do ask i hope you don't mind chris that's why i put your mic on quite a lot of people ask oh you don't add up your hours you don't and i know we've been through this before by all means i'm not asking you to justify anything but just as a little bit of clarity for everyone so that they do understand, I hope that's the right word. Right, I know we don't do paid jobs, but you used to. Oh, yeah. You used to do jobs for me, jobs for everyone. Yeah, yeah. So this Audi A1, I've bought it into you. I've bought a bit of chassis leg in with it. I've bought you the panels. I've bought you all these bits. You've got to jig it, put the chassis leg in. Basically, I've dropped that car off to you. You're doing that. You're panelling it up. How much are you charging me? Yeah, I'm... Um Yes, yeah, good question, really. Um, What's that, three days' work? You want it on your own, start to finish? I would have thought uh, around a 1,200 quid. Mm. But, I mean, I used to do jobs for you, and, and you didn't ask me to quote, and I, I never did a quote, did I? No. It was just, I'd say to you, it took this long, it's yeah. this much. Yeah. Uh, but we had that kind of like, working relationship, didn't yeah. we? But for some of our customers, which most of my customers were trade anyway, um, or all of them really for jig work, yeah, probably around the 1200 quid, um, which might sound a lot to some people, but there's a lot of investment in equipment, yeah, um, and you know, quite a few years practicing, if you like, you know, experience, and that's what you're paying for. So, uh, yeah, in that ballpark, I guess. But no, we don't work the hours out because it would just be another thing we've got to sit down and do. Yeah. We haven't got time. Yeah, no, definitely um, not. And and what benefit is it well, to us? It we, ain't, we both yeah. say this, don't we? We can't get back in a time machine and go, yeah, we won't buy that car. No, that's right. It's done. What's done is done. What's done yeah. is done. We've, you just have to crack on them. And if it's worse than you thought and it takes longer, so be it. And that's it. Definitely. So, front panel, front cross member, headlight, headlight panels, everything has gone on there. All bolted up on its holes, all in the centre of yeah. its holes. Absolutely brilliant. Now, we actually wanted to, I think this video has been really, really good. Just watching it back, all of that live filming, people always say, I want to see you pull it, I want Chris's input more, blah, blah, blah. So, hopefully, guys, you did enjoy it. Put it in the comment section down below. But, still for us, a little bit of disappointment because we wanted the wings and the bonnet back well, in this video. Kind of the plan. That was kind of the plan. But unfortunately, he has said they're going to be another couple of days. So this is where we're going to have to leave it today, I think, don't you? Yeah, well, it can be stripped apart now, can't it? And there's got to be a bit of prep. Oh, yeah, all the paint. So I'll get on with that. Paint, well, seam sealer, all that sort of stuff. So I'll get on with that while we're waiting for the panels to come back. And and in the next video, I should think we, you're going to do that bit of paintwork and we're going to start fitting this up. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It'd be nice, wouldn't pretty it? Pretty much got everything, and we? There's a couple of bits and bobs, but even the broken pipes I think we got. Didn't yeah, I've got them, yeah, I've got new ones, ones yeah. There's always little tiny bits, isn't there? But we've got an account with TPS, we can ring them, they're normally next day, so we're really, really happy with it. And we are waiting on the airbag kit. We, we are waiting. We've ordered it, we've paid for it, it's on its way, so... Guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. If you did enjoy it, do it that thumbs up. Drop us a comment in the comment section down below. Like, subscribe and share. And we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.